hi guys in this tutorial i will show you how to make a door in roblox studio so let's get started first of all let's make a simple door and you can add the codes for yourself i will just show you with a simple door here so duplicate this part and let's make a hinge for this door scale it to make a smaller like this that's good and duplicate this also name it door the first part and the hinge also the third one make it side and better thing is right left side and also duplicate this but before duplicate let's color this actually let's make it blue for now and we can make the hinge transparency one because we will not display it and make it uncurled so also left side make it uncurled so use ctrl d for duplicate again and let's make the top side of door like this and you can scale it more to display better and also duplicate left side again add for right side so just like I told you guys, this is just a simple door, so you can model it for yourself better. I just do this for video. So yeah, this is good for now. We can work on this. And I will rename this part like top side and also right side. That will be better. So now we have door and hinge. So now go to model and click on create there is will select this and click on door and also hinge so be sure you click on hinge you can check from properties select this and go to properties you see there is part zero door part one hinge so be sure it's selected hinge so now let's add a script but first i will make a group with selecting all door parts and do ctrl g to make a model and name it door and i will make door 2 because already i have one so now let's add a script here first of all i will zoom in to show you better and let's call local win service game get service write win service so you write local hinge and equal to script dot parent dot here select hinge and also local prompt yeah we forgot actually add a proximity prompt so it just simply go to door and click on plus button here select proximity prompt if you don't know what is proximity prompt let's quickly run the project to show you what is that when you close to any part on Roblox Studio has proximity prompt you will see this pop up there it says click on e key to do the proximity prompt function but we didn't add any function yet so stop your project and let's go back to script so first let's call proximity prompt with script dot parent dot door and dot proximity prompt so actually we have open door and close the door close the door and we should make two different variables open and close so for opening door we will use this code open dot c frame equal to hinge c frame times c frame angles zero math rod 19 for closing the door we will use same thing just need to change open to close and also 19 will be zero like this so now we have open and close codes and write local twin info equal to twin info dot new one and let's make twin open you see twin open twin service create hinge twin info and open so also same idea for twin close so just write close here let's work on proximity prompt the so right prompt dot triggered and connect function if prompt dot action text equal to 
close that means the door is already opened then we should write twin close but actually we forgot to change twin open to close like this so copy this text and write twin close play and write from dot action text equal to open and else if door is already closed copy this code here and write twin open and change open to close so now completely finished door code so let's check out how it's look like now so run your app and let's go to open the door so it says close open close so it's worked perfectly and let's run again i want to fix something like when you close the door if you're not opened yet it says interact so how to make this text at beginning to say open so stop your project here we can write prompt dot action text so write open so now it should say open from beginning let's see yeah it says open and open close it's working so th use this code for yourself for your own model so that was a tutorial thanks for watching